Hi, I'm Dr. M. Kamakshi, open source software evangelist, full stack developer and academic of data science and analytics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with two very important and essential functions known as VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP. V in VLOOKUP stands for vertical and H in HLOOKUP stands for horizontal. Suppose you want to search, I have a data set in my uh, Excel and this data set, set represents sales of a particular firm. And now this data is organized in rows and columns. Each row represents month and each column is represented by a region. Suppose if you pick up a value here 43, this is the sales of East region uh, which belongs to the month of January. Now, uh, suppose you want to, uh, you are in somewhere else just like this and you want to pick up a value for each, uh, suppose uh, if I write the uh, name of the month here and I want to update the value total for that January then anything, like it, it may not be total, you can retrieve any of the values of these uh, columns it is just a matter of, uh, you know, uh, mentioning the number of the column that's it, nothing else. Now suppose I want to pick up the total for January month, uh, doesn't matter what is the East uh, now I need to make use of a function called VLOOKUP. Now the format of the VLOOKUP is going to be like this. It is a function, inbuilt function, uh, which depends on um, three, four, a couple of uh, arguments. The very first argument is going to be a lookup value. In this case, we are going to look up for sales, total sales for month January. And now a table data uh, to make it uh, better, I'm going to collect I mean uh, use the entire table now it is going to ask you the column index now I would like to get the value from this column suppose if you want to get the value from this column then it is going to be 2 1 2 3 4 5 6 I want to get it from 6 column index now the range to look up is going to be false I want the exact match okay now when you press enter you'll get 251 what is this value this is the exact value this is a sales value, total sales value for month January. Now, what I do, I change it into February. Okay, you have to be a bit cautious when you are, this is 208. The total sales value for February is 208. So, this way, you can uh, just change, uh, suppose if you go for December, the total sales value is, so now, you are not, uh, this is one process. Somebody is uh, trying to take care of uh, collecting data and uh, making a data sheet in this way or this can be uh, a database kind of access in MS Office or maybe SQL so this sheet is the data in this sheet is arising from some ba back-end operation somebody is taking care of it now you have a format you can make a format with the help of these lookup functions so that you can just retrieve the values as by the arguments okay so in this case, now I'm going to explain you how to look for the values uh, horizontally. So this is VLOOKUP. If you see, I used VLOOKUP. This is vertical lookup. Now, horizontal lookup is something that which picks the value as by row. Okay, this is horizontal. This is horizontal. And this is vertical, something like that. Now, we are going to do a small exercise. Whenever I put the region name then I must be able to pick up the total for this particular region so now let us go ahead and do that this is a uh, region region wise total sales now if that is the intention you need to use h lookup now the lookup value I'm going to put the put my value here and now the table I will select the entire table to avoid inconsistencies now the row index my search row is here this is going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 minus 1 something like that 14 now give your 15 here and then I suspect this code okay anyway false now press enter yeah because that's fifth sheet I don't know because the Excel is a dirty tool uh, I don't like this tool now you have uh, East 
no, this is not going to work. I don't know for unknown reasons. This is uh, okay. I'll. I'm going to show you once again. This is going to be. We are going to use H lookup, and then we have uh, a lookup value, and then give a uh, lookup table, and then you have that you know 14, and then false. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. You got the value now. I don't know why we were not able to. I told you this is a dirty tool. I I never like Excel. I use a couple of other programming languages for data science and analytics. But anyway, um, I often get uh, calls from my student community to they ask me questions. Uh, these lookup uh, functions are highly demanded. And, uh, now let me. This is a total uh, sales uh, for East region East. So you find a 97. Let's see. You remember this value 815 that is for west okay let me west then you have 850 now go for south you you get 683 and then like that okay you can just take it forward this way we can work with uh, we lookup and hedge lookup functions inside uh, excel spreadsheet and these functions are highly demanding demanded in uh, some of the small and home offices where the data n now I've shown you how to retrieve the data from the from the sheet one but this sheet one in real time you m this sheet one may be a back-end SQL server or maybe access server or some kind of process from where the the data gets arised okay now this is for this video and if you like my video please press like button Mm, subscribe to my video channel. Stay tuned for the new content.